Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Rob DiMartino. I am a chiropractor in the Las Vegas Henderson area of Nevada. I found quantum neurology through a different technique that I had done and I uh, met Dr. Dave Pascal and through talking to him and hearing about all the wonderful stuff that he was able to do with patients, um, th there was just no way that you could hear those kinds of stories and not get interested in how he was able to do those things. So um, Dr. Pascal was nice enough to talk me through it. I looked up quantum neurology for myself, uh, spent a few minutes on the website and I was completely hooked and, and uh, booked, my, booked my flight, booked my seminar and, and I was there and I've never looked back since. Uh, going into the first seminar, that from the impressions that I'd gotten, you know, I was I was fully in. I, you know, I was ready to go. It was something I knew I wanted to do, and I, I truly believe this. And I keep saying this, and it's only gotten better. From the first seminar I went to, I walked out of there saying, "This is what I always wanted chiropractic to be." When I was in chiropractic school, this is always what I wanted chiropractic to be. And, and you'll hear Dr. George say it time and time again: quantum neurology delivers on the promise of chiropractic. While chiropractic is a wonderful thing and it's helped my, myself personally, it's helped my family, it's helped a tremendous amount of my patients, quantum neurology is that direct influence in the nervous system that just causes that immediate healing. It was not something we always saw with chiropractic. You know, the idea is that the body will heal itself. Right? Well, if that's the case, you know, I was adjusting people and they were getting better and they were getting out of pain, but they weren't fully healing. You know, their diabetes didn't go away, their other problems didn't go away, they still had health problems. So what it really came down to is, yes, the body heals itself if the body can understand that there's a problem. And that's the bridge that quantum neurology crosses and allows us to get results that nobody else can. So it's only gotten better. That was the feeling when I walked out of my first module uh, and it's only gotten better as I've gone through now the rest of the, the, the modules and, and program. Even before I got to the first seminar, I had bought the starter package. I had the DVDs and I had the lights and I started treating patients right away with just that. And the results that I got were almost better than stuff that I had already been doing in the past. So I hadn't even been to a module yet. I bought the DVDs, I watched them a few times, I got the light, I just started implementing it into my practice right away. And you know, the, the night, watch the DVD the night before, the next day I'm in there turning on myotomes and cranial nerves and just watching these people get better or people that I was stuck with get these huge changes and I'd never even been to a seminar yet. Quantum neurology has affected my practice in such a profound way. It, it's just, um, it, it, it's been revolutionary because for, for me, again, I love chiropractic, but I don't love back pain. I don't love treating back pain. It, it doesn't do a lot for me. It was just not something I was passionate about. I, you know, if somebody has back pain, I'm happy to help them with it. I did it for a while. I was good at it. I was very successful at it, but it wasn't for me. I, I, I always found myself gravitating towards more difficult, more complicated cases, asking for those kind of cases, and, and you know, thinking about it and just getting those things into my office just because I, that was my intention was I was getting these more complicated type cases. So when you're gonna deal with more complicated type caseloads, you need more complicated, more advanced metrics and procedures to get those types of people well. And that's really what quantum neurology is, is, is one of the things that we do in our office that's really helped us achieve that. So now I have a very specialized type of office where we're treating mostly major neurological type problems. I don't remember the last back pain patient I've gotten, but we're treating all of these advanced neurological problems. It's, it's become kind of what we're known for in town um, and, and you know what they say you know, from a business perspective what they say the niche makes you rich so we built ourselves a niche and the patients are coming through and they all know it and, and uh, you know the, the specialty of it so our, our volume's gone up our practice dollars have gone up and um, the, the fun in the practice has gone up because you get to see more cool things on, on, on a daily basis it, it's, it's really truly been revolutionary and amazing I, I probably, and this, the great thing about this, this one case study that we always talk about was because it was actually before I was even ever at a Module 1 seminar. This was strictly off of the DVDs and the work that I had learned just from watching the, the tapes. I had a little boy come in to see me. He was about six years old. The doctors were trying to put him on the autism spectrum range. And when I was evaluating him and I had started to put the cranial nerve evaluations into my practice, I noticed that his eyes were really severely damaged when we would try, he couldn't trace me, my hands, he couldn't watch me, you know, every time we would do anything his eyes would, would kind of uh, freak out. And uh, when I asked his parents about it, you know, they said that he had had four separate eye surgeries. And when we would do accommodation with him or any, or any kind of fields of vision, when he would go to look in towards his nose, his right eye would dive in so hard that you couldn't see his pupil anymore. 
all you saw was white. The color of his eye was completely gone. That's how hard it would dive in. Um, I started to treat him. I treated him three times. Never been to a seminar. I treated him three times off of the cranial nerve work that I, I learned from the DVDs, the basic cranial nerve stuff. He went back to his neurologist and got pronounced with perfect neurological function of his eyes. That was after four surgeries, years of this going on. It was three treatments in my office and that kid's life was changed. And no spectrum disorder issues. He didn't have a spectrum problem. He had a vision problem. He couldn't track. It was sensory overload for him. Three treatments, life-changing effect for the kid before, and his family and his parents. I mean, mom cried in my office for a day, but before I'd even been to a seminar. It's that powerful. It speaks volumes to the technique that you could do something like that before you even actually ever go and sit down and learn it. If you're thinking about doing quantum neurology, you're not sure, maybe you're sitting on the fence saying, I don't know if this is for me. I mean, you've got to really dig down and look inside. And you have to ask yourself, what do you want? I knew for myself that I wanted to play a bigger game. Um, I wanted to make an impact. I wanted to make a dent. I knew I had the capability of doing that, but I knew I needed a vehicle in order to help me do that. It's a tremendous amount of power to be given. And, and there's something so important about having faith in that and, and, and comfort in that power. I, I mean, we all want as doctors, we want clinical certainty. Right? That's what you want. You want to know that somebody's going to walk into your office and you're going to be able to evaluate them and say, yes, I can help you. No, I can't help you. And then be able to make good on that promise. You know, chiropractors have been notorious over the years for over-promising and under-delivering. Right now, in my practice, there's nothing that walks in there that I don't think that if, if we do a proper examination and we find things that we can't get well, or at least on some sort of dramatic level. It may not be 100%, but on some sort of significant improvement. And that clinical certainty has made my life so much easier, so much more fun. It makes practice completely stress-free because it's either yes I can or no I can't, but let's see what we can do. Let's see what your body's capable of. And as a doctor, the clinical certainty that that brings you is incredibly peaceful. The, the certainty that that brings the patient is also incredibly peaceful for them too. They know they're in the right place because you're coming through as confident as you can possibly be, but it's not a fake confidence. It's not selling. It's just telling the person, this is what I've got. This is what you've got. This is a marriage. Let's get you well. And you have all the tools to do it. Quantum neurology has affected my existing practice in, in kind of a profound way. Now all of a sudden, patients are coming in in walkers and you know with canes and things like that. They're seeing these more complicated patients in the office. And you know what happens in between through there is you know people get curious and they naturally want to ask you, what are you doing? And you start explaining to them what you're doing. You're doing more advanced neurological work. It makes you the expert. And my referrals have gone up. The patient's excitement's gone up. And I tell my patients, look, we use more advanced methods for more advanced problems. But at the same time, we use more advanced methods for less complicated problems. Why? Because it gives us a greater result. And a better result and a faster result and a more permanent result. Who doesn't want that? That's what I want for my patients. Patients are blown away by the power of it. We call it a hug a day. We get at least a hug a day. You know, um, recently I had a gal in from, from England, flew in. Um, treat her father-in-law. She's been having problems for a long time. Went to see a chiropractor, came into the office. I knew I had a few days to treat her. And I worked her up and started treating things. I mean, she got off the table hysterically crying. I mean, she had, she had burning, tearing pain like childbirth all the time. And especially any time she tried to move around or exercise, even walking. And I worked her up and after the first day she got off the table, she was probably 80% better. And she got tears in her eyes and she says, I, I, I just want to hug you so bad. And I said, I, I take hugs, I love hugs. It's great to get somebody out of pain, but it's also great to see somebody get a, a major function of their life back. People live with pain every single day. They come to your office when it affects their quality of life. You take their pain away, that's one thing. You take their pain away and you give them their quality of life back, that's life changing. And that's what they need.